But on the issue of the stalemate at the Senate, I, I want to say without fear of contradiction, that it doesn't look as simplistic as people are making it look. Because if you say, for sure, that other people, other senators were fighting for their counties because they were bound to lose in this new formula. What of those senators whose counties were supposedly going to benefit and yet they were voting against the formula? Okay? What is the justification? In my view, I think uh, it is a matter that requires the intervention, some involvement of the Ethics and the Anti-Corruption Commission. Because in the the, the grapevine, a lot of things are being said, okay? It's a lot of undercurrents, yes, which I don't want to get involved in. Undercurrents which require yeah, some, some inquiry by those relevant bodies, okay? And therefore, my last appeal on the issue of the statement, let the senators go back to the Senate on Tuesday and arrive at an amicable solution, a solution that takes into account all the issues that are being raised, okay, but also a solution that bears in mind that what we are talking about is the issue of resource allocation, not just now, but in the future as well. Even before we talk about revenue allocation formula from now going forward. It, I think it will be important as a country since we are currently at the eighth year of devolution. It's now eight years since devolution started in earnest in 2013. Perhaps the more urgent thing that we should have been focused on is to carry out an assessment of the successes or lack of successes or failures of devolution. It would have been important for us to carry out an audit on the impact of devolution. Not only countrywide, but, but county by county.